I'm Eva Schmidt. I'm an executive product director at Gameforge, currently responsible for Terra. Yeah, Terra is going free to play. It's happening in early 2013, which means that Terra will be freely accessible to everyone, and anyone who wants to can just start playing and enjoy the fantastic world of Arborea. We decided to do away with the subscription barrier for the simple reason that we want to give more players the opportunity to enjoy a real premium MMO. We're huge fans of the game, just like our European players, and it's simply a fact that this world depends on a massive player base to truly thrive. I mean, the political system and PvP are just a lot more fun when you have real opponents. The content of the game will not be reduced. That was the most important factor as we considered making the move to free-to-play. Players who start fresh with Terra now will have access to the same content as those already playing. However, those who bought and played Terra before the free-to-play switch will of course be rewarded for their loyalty with certain benefits. First, we have the veteran players. That's everyone who owns a Terra box, no matter when it was purchased, but no longer has an active subscription. They can simply resume playing with their beloved character. They won't have to wait to be reactivated or start from scratch. They can just pick up right where they left off. But this time for free, of course. And the veterans will also have some slight advantages in terms of comfort over newcomers to the game. Then we have the players with active subscriptions. They'll receive a very exclusive club membership, which will last as long as their subscription is active. Membership benefits include, for example, a 50% faster cooldown for instances, XP boosting items, an epic mount, and lots of other great stuff. Anyone can be a part of this exclusive club. All you have to do is sign up for a monthly subscription. The big advantage for us is that we've had Terra online for several months already, so we've gained enough community feedback to be able to present a really balanced free-to-play model. We're going to start with about 40 items in the item shop, some of which are currently also available for gold from merchants or can be looted from dungeons. We have on the one hand wonderful costumes which have no impact on your stats but simply look good. Then we've got comfort items such as the teleporter scroll and items that let you summon shops. These items don't disrupt the game's balancing. They simply make the game more comfortable in some way. Terra will continue to be developed as it has been in the past. For example, along with the free-to-play switch, there will also be some new instances and a three-on-three -three arena introduced to the game, and the political system will be tweaked. This is not a step backwards for Terra, but rather a big step forwards. It was simply time for a change. Free to play is coming soon, so join in and play. It won't cost you a penny.